All right, welcome to Embracing Mattress. This is going to be the weekly love reading for the sign of Taurus. Thank you to everyone that's liked, shared, subscribed, and hit the notification button. If you purchased a reading, if you donated to the page, thank you. If you've commented down below, I appreciate you. Um, this can be about you, the person you're thinking of, or your cross watcher. Cross watchers, if you do not have Taurus in your chart or anyone with Taurus in theirs, just know that the spirit is here with a message for you. Just hang out. So you're going to take what resonates, leave what does not. Uh, while I was shuffling, I saw codependency. So you guys may be in a codependent relationship or coming out of one. Your love life may be affected by children right now. You may be pregnant, may have children with someone that's giving you a hard time or you're giving them a hard time. You may want to retreat with this person that you have the children with, but it's not working out in your favor. Some of you have new love coming towards you. Some of you uh, will find out that the new love is unrequited, meaning they don't want anything with you. Some of you want to have new love with the person that you're with and you would like to go away, retreat with that person that you could possibly have children with to try and reconcile a situation. You guys want to take that how it resonates for you. All right. Yep, this could be someone that you're married to. Okay, have a commitment to long term. Right, this is your masculine. Could be someone, yep, that you're with. Um, the issues could be concerning a masculine and a commitment. Maybe they were moving around behind your back, real slick. Okay, not doing what they needed to do, right? Because either you or them were controlling a situation with uh, with magic, right? But, you're, but somebody here is moving in their shadow self because you're, you're taking away someone's free will, which the divine is not going to like that at all. Someone here is trying to take a masculine's free will away by controlling them. You're giving them something to eat or something to drink, right? Some of you are trying to take this unrequited situation with this person and trying to make it something with magic. But you're going to get your karma. Okay? Someone's going to get their karma for this. Like, this is going to be a heavy price to pay for uh, the stuff that, that is happening. So, like, again, Taurus, either this is you or your person or your crosswatch or someone's moving real greasy. Right, someone's gaining spiritual knowledge. Right? Someone has wild, untamed desire for someone or something else. This also could be some of the black magic. Could have a succubus, incubus type situation or... Um, doing sex spells on each other or someone's doing that. Someone needs to change the perception here of what's going on um, because whoever is here that's trying to control the other one, you know, your perception is totally off. Um, you're having to have faith, okay, unity. Um, you the divine wants you to reach out to them because whoever's here that's doing all this stuff, you know, <laughs> the karma that's coming to you is not pretty. Right? Of course.
course, with this magic, you make things seem unrealistic, right? It could be delusions, right? Everything is not how it seems. And the person that you're doing this to, okay, could be coming out of this too, right? Death. Right, I'm saying that this will be ended by winter. Okay? Something also could have ended in the winter, but the hold that you have on this person should be done by winter or the hold they have on you All right then someone will be able to have a new beginning anything else for it? Hmm. yep someone's happened to be strong someone may be dealing with a leo or fire sign, maybe an Aries, right? Take it how it resonates. Bottom of the deck, someone's wanting to be calm and tranquil. Someone knows that a person brings them this calm, tranquility, relaxation. And it's not someone here, it's someone else. Absolutely. Okay, someone is losing faith though, right? Someone's losing faith here. And things are gonna go the way they need them to go because maybe your spells are not working. Maybe the spells that you, you know, someone was using is not working anymore. These are a lot of cards, but because I'm nosy, I'm gonna use them. Someone's envious of someone else. Someone's really disillusioned. Someone's going to be embarrassed soon because the shit they're doing is not going to work. It's shit that they were fixated on. Someone here was not moving the way that they needed to be. It may have been going back and forth and in and out of people's lives here with the escapist card. Medicating. Too much eating, drinking, sexing, porn, too much gaming, too much anything. Gambling, right? Too much. Too much masturbation for some. Yeah, I said it. Someone feels really foolish and cowardly. Someone's not making any action, but someone, this is definitely a one-sided love. One person wants to be here, one person does not. And someone's trying to be forceful with this magic. Someone's trying to force someone's free will. Right? Because someone, right? Someone is thinking about this person here, whoever this is, this prosperous single person. I don't know. You guys got to take it. How it resonates, you know. Someone's thinking of a prosperous person. This could be either you or your person, right? Someone wants to make some communication to someone. Someone wants to offer some love to someone. Yes. That's what I see. Yeah. <laughs> they want to offer some love to someone that cut them off. Listen, this has been your message, Taurus, for the week. If anyone needs me, information is in the box below. You guys take care. Okay?